The baddest woman on the planet is here. There is only one. Rowdy Ronda Rousey. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Venice Beach, California, the Raw Women's Champion, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey's got her game face locked. She is ready to compete. And her partner from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia. Product of the Hart Family Dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart Family in sports entertainment. Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Now the daughter of Jim the Animal Knight Hart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Brett the Hitman Hart. Got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. The irresistible force is on Raw. And their opponents, first, from San Diego, California, Maya Jack. Hey, whenever Nia Jax enters an arena, whenever Nia Jax enters a match, everyone takes notice of the dominance that this woman is capable of. She's beautiful, she's powerful, she's dangerous. It's like a million dollar smile on a wrecking ball. Nia Jax is the irresistible force to be reckoned with. Women's division, I hope you're ready for a fight. Tamina is a scary woman. And her partner from Pacific Islands, Tamina. That is a scary human being. Despite her dominance at WrestleMania in her debut match, not many folks expected Ronda Rousey's next match to be for the Raw Women's Championship. Well, one person expected it, the Raw Women's Champion at the time, Nia Jax, who personally laid down the challenge against the baddest woman on the planet. I guess she feels there's something to be said for going back to something that worked before. Tossed around now. The giant splash hits. She has some reason to be concerned here. Her and her partner making a great tag team. We'll see what they're made of here. At this point, I think it's fair to call into question her preparation for this match. She's clearly being outclassed right now. Nia Jax did not waste any time in becoming a dominant force in NXT. After cryptic vignettes declared that Nia wasn't like most girls, she proved it by laying waste to NXT's best en route to women's championship contendership.
Going back to Nia Jack's NXT day, she really displayed her dominance on her rise to the top, dispatching performers like Liv Morgan and Carmella without much trouble. You know, having been there for Nia's early days, I can tell you she was milliseconds away from beating the likes of Bayley and Asuka for the NXT Women's Championship. Nia had takeover battles well in hand with both women, but lost due to rookie miscues. It, now that she's got more experience, she's earning main event matches and winning titles. Wow, what a leg sweep. Oh, an officious assault. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner locked up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, count out, or disqualification. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstar's feet have to be on the apron. The partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner. Both team members must touch and the referee must see this could be it for her geez i don't like tamina's chances in this one when a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and what's this from natalia sub shooter applied this might be it guys Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that. They did it! Wow! What a match! Let's look back on the action from the last match. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. there was any other alternative but the tap there. These women make an almost unstoppable pairing, Michael. And it looks to me like our winner is already thinking about the next match. Always one step ahead.